Dear Chairman, thank you for the invitation to present at the ABC 2020 meeting. The title of my presentation is Provisional Distancing Choices, Pitfalls and Troubleshooting. In the flowchart uh, of provisional stenting, when the side branch result after ballooning is not acceptable, a say bailout side branch stenting is required. What can happen first during the side branch stent implantation is that the stent does not cross into the side branch. This can be related to one or more pitfalls at one or more prior steps during uh, uh, the first spot after main vessel stenting, during side branch rewiring, and during side branch dilatation with or without kissing the balloon or with or without pot. The other scenario is an incorrect side branch stent placement after uh, crossing in, into the side branch. So start with the stand, when the stand does not cross into the side branch. I will talk about uh, the bailout side branch T stenting in non-left main. And this is the, what, uh, what we mean for T. T can be selected observing a favorable deformation of the stand in relation to the side branch orifice. Uh, when you do a distal crossing or you are sure that you did a distal crossing, you have this favorable deformation and then you can do a T. And uh, this can be informed also by careful imaging with stand boost uh, announcement. And uh, the, all, the, the goal is to achieve this result. Uh, we recognize the deformation the, and you put your stent in a T fashion. So uh, here is a possible scenario uh, during a non-left main stenting. So it, after you have implanted the main vessel stent according to the main vessel diameter, you do your pot. This is a, a, a pot, the first pot, but this is incomplete. This is the first uh, pitfall that I will show you, the consequence of this pitfall. When you have this, what happens is that you have a proximal stent, mala position here in this position. So what the next steps is just to rewire the side branch through the distal strut. You can, turn, you can take a third wire uh, and go, and you are able to, to, you know, to cross to the distal strut. But what happened that the wire before crossing here, it went uh, in a very proximal aluminum wiring was done here. And uh, in the next step, you remove the jail wire and you start doing your kissing balloon. And the balloon in the side branch, you see, is able, because it's a new balloon, to go in the side branch in the correct position. The main vessel balloon is here. Then you, you perform your kissing balloon very close to the bifurcation, so nothing happened. You deflate the balloons, you remove the balloons, and then you do your, re uh, your, your report. Uh, as suggested and recommended by the guidelines. But what happened? When you do the report, the side branch wire is jailed by the report beneath the very proximal main vessel segment. What can happen? Uh, a bailout to side branch stent is required, and then you go with your stent, but uh, the stent in the side branch will not cross because there is a jail wire that you, with, you jail this wire with the report. So there is a solution, yes, there is a solution. You have to rewire intraluminally, maybe or possibly assisted by a dual lumen catheter and try to rewire the, the, the side branch distally again. But if this is not possible, you have a, another solution. Just go with the balloon, uh, DJ, the, the, you know, create some space to cross. Then you can cross your, with your side branch stenting. Go here in the side branch, uh, implant the stent in a T fashion perform a kissing and then a final report to uh, uh, reocclude the vessel. Uh, here is another possible scenario, the second one for non-left main stenting. The same, you do your, your first pot, this is incomplete, it's a pitfalls. Then you have this uh, proximal stent mala position. This time you do a pullback side branch rewiring. You pull back the, the guide wire from the main vessel and then you re-engage the distal strut. But uh, the next step is just to, uh, this is after rewiring, you remove the jail wire and then you reinsert the jail wire in the main vessel. But during the rejailing, you go here, very proximal, you have an abnormal rewiring and then the, the, the guide wire in the main vessel have this loop, you don't recognize that you are outside here in the very proximal aluminal. You believe that you are inside the main vessel stand. Then you go with your balloon. The balloon will cross exactly here. So, uh, and you go to do your kissing as before. You don't recognize that you are aluminally here. You perform your pot uh, as suggested by the guidelines. But after the after pot, what happened? That the proximal stand because you, you did the pot on the main vessel, is crushed by repot here. And the side branch wire 
is jailed inside a crushed, very proximal main vessel stem segment. If something happened and then you have to do a bailout side branch stenting is required, what happened? Then the stent will not cross here. And if you push or pull too, too, too strongly, you can uh, deform more, have a, have a worse deformation of the stent, you can catch the stent, you can lose the stent. So what uh, is suggested in this case is just to rewire intraluminally, possibly assisted by a dual lumen catheter, and uh, rewire the side branch distally. If, uh, if this is not possible, you have to take a small balloon, 125, go inside this uh, crash portion, dilate, dilate it with the bigger balloon, and then create the space to cross in this crushed position to put this, to, to reach this position in a T position, implant your stent as a bailout, do the kissing, and finish with the final pot. But this time, you have to pot on the side branch guide wire. Otherwise, you recrash again everything. For left main is a different animal, two examples in this case. The, the angle is favorable, as you see, and this is favorable to do a T stenting. So I'm talking about pitfall of T stenting. And T is frequently selected, observing the favorable 80 to 90 degree LED LSX angle. In addition, there is another pitfall that the proximal versus distal rewire is difficult to evaluate by imaging in the left main. So you don't know if you are distal or proximal by, by imaging. So first scenario, you have, uh, as before, you do after ballooning, uh, pot, uh, you have a side branch result after ballooning is not acceptable, so you have to do a bailout side branch stenting. But what happened? That the stent in the side branch does not cross. It stops here. What can be the problem here? Is probably, possibly, most of the time, a proximal crossing. But if you do a proximal crossing, what are the consequences of this? That you, this, the, this uh, proximal crossing is, follow, is uh, followed by kissing, balloon dilatation, you create uh, this deformation in the main vessel stent, but then this is followed by a repot, and if you do a repot, uh, as, as suggested, as classically uh, complete repot, uh, what the result is this. So you reposition this part of the stent against the side branch guide wire and you jail again the side branch guide wire. If a stent is required, the stent will not cross. So what to do in this case when the stent will not cross after kissing a repot, just do a side branch balloon redilatation with or without kissing balloon and then go with your stent because the stent will cross. So avoid to do another repot. So the two points here, the pitfall was the proximal re uh, rewiring and the repot, uh, because the repot creates this, this uh, jailing, you close, you close again the door, and uh, the, my suggestion is just to, you have to avoid this, this, this first pot. So in any case, after provisional, probably only a proximal repot is safer in any case, because you, if you are unable to, to judge if it, there was a proximal or distal, this is the safest way to pot. Another case similar, uh, the second case uh, the, uh, before my, my presentation is uh, when the side branch stand doesn't cross in this position, what, what is the reason possibly? Maybe there is a longitudinal stand distortion or a very proximal uh, left main abluminary wire. And this is due to the fact that the orifice, the ostium of the left main is not parallel to the aorta, but is oblique. So when you put uh, the stent at the ostium, one part of the stent is protruding and you can damage this part, you can crash uh, using with the guide, guide, uh, guide cut, guiding catheter attraction or during removal of the balloon, there are very many mechanisms, or simply rewiring, you rewire abluminally. So if you are abluminal, then you have this problem, doesn't cross, and uh, the solution is just to rewire intraluminally, again, assisted by a dual lumen catheter, try to rewire the side branch distally. If this is not possible, then you have still the possibility to rescue, do a proximal strut balloon dilatation, open a space here and then go in the side branch with your uh, stent, put the stent in a T fashion and then uh, uh, do this uh, bailout stenting and all the other procedures. Finally, there are three cases that I want to show you the incorrect side branch stent placement after the, you are able to uh, cross in the side branch with the stent. And uh, it, this is uh, when you are too distal, stand deployment is, is due to cardiac motion, the presence of calcium here or stand stenosis. What happened? That the stand slips down when you are inflating the balloon at the stand in a T fashion. 
And so uh, here the solution is just to put another stent in the side branch ostium, which is anchored to the first one. To prevent this, just prepare the lesion with the scoring balloon, cutting balloon, or you can do a rotoblator, or do an OPN, do a lithotripsy, everything that can help you to prepare the side branch lesion to avoid this uh, you know, distal migration of the stent. The opposite is when you have accidentally too long protrusion inside the main vessel, this is uh, mostly due to, to cardiac motion and the solution in this case to just convert an internal crush. Yeah, when you have an extremely long protrusion inside the main vessel uh, with the side branch stent reaching the proximal main vessel stent segment, uh, the only solution is to, this is usually due to cardiac motion, is just to, to convert in a mini culotte. To avoid this uh, uh, you know, excessive cardiac motion consequence, uh, what I suggest is the balloon assisted side branch stenting. So inside the stent, you inflate a, 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 in the main vessel stent a balloon inflated at low atmosphere, two to six. Then you have already placed the stent, uh, the T stenting that you intend to, play, to implant. At this point, you pull the stent, you can manage the pressure, reduce the pressure, increase the pressure based on the motion. When you have reached your position and everything is stable, you inflate your stent here, and then you have the result. This is the, uh, what the Dr. Bakwat from, uh, from India presented in the last bifurcation meeting, Indian bifurcation meeting, and this uh, is uh, their experience on 30 patients. Thank you for your attention.